like your sign a lot. Uh, yeah, I want to talk to you about it for a second. Um, Jake, you're the young Turks recording us for that. Uh, so, talk to me about this. Well, there's this, there's this lie that's been propagated by the Republicans that say raising taxes on the richest among us is going to kill job creation. Well, in 1953, May of 1953 to be exact, we had the lowest unemployment rate ever, 2.5%, and the highest top tax rate ever at 92%. Now, I want to clarify, no one paid 92%. Once you reach this level, people started to invest back in their businesses. So they invested back in the corporations, in the workers, instead of stuffing it in their pockets like they're doing now. Part of the reason I love your son is because it's something we say all the time in the show. But tell me about this. What's this last line? Well, this is a little bit more convoluted, but we have to talk about this. This is the annual deficit as a percentage of the GDP. Okay. So this takes inflation into account. Yes. So this yes. says that even in 1953, that we had a 1.7% deficit. There's real good reasons for that. Right. That's when we built the interstate system. We built all of our dams. That's when we built our water our flow systems, right? All of our electrical systems. So that's the only reason we had any deficit at all. Today, we have a 10.9% deficit as a percentage of our GDP. Now, the correlation between the tax top rate, tax top tax rate, and the deficit as of our GDP, the numbers don't lie. They're just too big. They slap you in the face with their truth. Alright, this is brilliant. And by the way, I love how you know the right wing says these guys don't know what they're talking about. Is there any right winger that has any like 10% of these facts? Alright, so this is great. What's the next one? So as a result, today the top 1% of the population control 40% of the wealth. So on the flip side, let's remember that 1 in 40. Now the bottom 40% control 1% of the wealth. Isn't that really weird? So what? So this has a real effect on you and me today. One of the reasons why we have such a high unemployment rate, 9.1%, this is government by the way, the real unemployment rate is 16% at least, is because there's a lack of demand. They, there's no people to spend money because all the money is stuck with the very few people up top. So the middle class has got squeezed out. People who used to have demand for things, who used to want to buy things, they don't have the money anymore. Now, one other thing. You will hear that America is broke. America's GDP has never been higher than it is today. Even before the recession, we were going gangbusters. We were kicking ass, right? America's GDP is higher right now than it was then. We're not broke. But where's all the money? Let me guess. The top one percent. They have a lot of it. There's also two trillion dollars in liquid assets being sat on by corporations in America. If they move that money and invest it in America, we would have money. We need the money to move. So this is absolutely great. So, uh, Professor, where do you teach? <laughs> I, I am a master. I just got my master's degree. Uh, I'm an engineer and a planner, and I cannot find a full-time job. This guy, this educated, and this right about the facts, that has summarized it really fairly brilliantly in this short period of time, can't find a job in this economy. And you tell me what's wrong with this picture, okay? And the problem is people are not getting a fair shot because of a lot of the things that he's laid out here. It isn't that businesses are bad, it's that it's led to a situation where the middle class is getting crushed, but then it eventually hurts businesses anyway because there's not enough demand. Uh, professor, what's your name? Anthony Adams. Anthony Adams, all right. But from now on, you're the professor. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> all you right, much. Anthony. Great job. Thank you, man. Thanks for sharing the information.